Welcome back to the Vegas style and today we're going to take a quick look at the Brave browser. Now if you had ever thought about trying to find another browser, this could be the thing for you. One of the other things that I want to highlight as well is if you're new to the cryptocurrency space, this is probably a good opportunity for you and I'll tell you why. Unlike any other browser that I've seen, you can actually earn tokens. They're called basic attention tokens. You have a wallet just like you see here and you can literally turn off the ads if you want to. So if you don't want to earn any tokens, that's okay. At least you can switch over to a browser where it'll stop any pop-up ads. But not only do you get to earn tokens, you also get to contribute to publishers. So that could be content creators such as myself or anyone else. If you're on YouTube, you're a content creator, you can earn tokens as well. So you can tip people whenever you want. What this means is you're in control. If you think that that content creator is good and you want to tip them, go ahead. You don't have to wait for their ads to pop up. You make the choice to tip them if you want to. The browser provides you with all kinds of different tools. You can check your history. You can clear the browsing history. Maybe go to bookmarks. And yes, you can transfer your bookmarks from another browser. Take a look at your downloads, delete them, and you can also go to settings to make different types of changes on your browser, such as dark theme, light theme. You can change the search engine from Google to DuckDuckGo, you name it, you have the option to make changes. Now let's take a look at batgrowth.com. Right here you can see 199,000 people have added themselves as a Brave browser publisher. Now this goes from YouTube to website publishers, Twitch, Twitter, Reddit, Vimeo, you name it. But let's face it, there's a changing trend on how things are done. The old traditional way of getting paid through YouTube ads and it, that it just doesn't work as well anymore. Now, here's the thing. You can see right here that publishers are definitely adopting BAT. Now, the list of publishers ranges from you name it. So you can see here you have DuckDuckGo. You have WikiHow, and surprisingly, there was even Bodybuilding.com, which I had no idea would have even been on this platform. Google Trends even shows an interest over time for the Brave browser. Now, as you can see from the left and to the right, there's a uptrend on the interest of this browser. And there is definitely adoption. Let's take a look at the Google Trends map. This is by subregion. This is the US, and as you can see by the blue color, there is definitely adoption happening. The awareness of cryptocurrency, what this map is really telling me is that, yeah, people are becoming aware. Don't fall behind. Let's face it, the Brave browser gives you the opportunity to reward those that you really want to reward. And for those that you really don't think that need it, well, don't do it. Either way, you get to earn yourself, so it's a win-win situation. As a tipping example, Click on the bat symbol on the very top of a content page. And if that person is a Brave verified publisher, click on send tip. When the tipping page comes up, you can tip any amount that's on that page. In this example, I have one, five, and 10 bats. This can be different based on the content creator themselves. Philip DeFranco, Bart Baker are Brave publishers. Hopefully this review was good for you. I have put the links in the description below but if you decide to go on your own, that's not a problem either. Either way, thanks for watching the M Vegas style.